Hello everyone, I'm Caden and I'm representing the Medtronic Capstone Project. To start us off, we have the Medtronic Company, which is currently the largest medical device manufacturer in the world, and one device they manufacture being pacemakers. And there is one issue with pacemakers, is that doctors will want to regularly check on the status of the pacemaker to ensure it's operating properly, and to gather any diagnostic data they may need for the patient's treatment. The issue with this being is pacemakers tend to live inside the chest cavity of the patient that it's helping to keep alive. And so doctors were going wanting to cut open their patients every time they want to check on the pacemaker, they will instead use a wireless device called the patient connector. The patient connector is what our project has primarily centered around. What Medtronic has tasked us with developing is a sort of testing harness that allows us to craft commands that will be sent to the patient connector, which is then sent to the pacemaker device itself. This is both to test general functionality of both devices, and it acts as a form of security testing, as it allows a user to send malformed commands both to the patient connector and pacemaker to ensure they don't behave in any unforeseen ways. The first major step in this would be establishing serial communication with the hardware itself, and then developing a program that allows the user to communicate with these devices. Uh, within this testing harness, we want to capture four primary data points. The initial command that was sent, the response from the patient connector, the response from the pacemaker, and a timestamp of when all of this was sent. And Unfortunately, due to unforeseen legal and procurement issues, we have had to perform this within a very expedited development cycle of about four weeks. Moving on to a generic use case scenario for this program, we have our, GU our GUI interface. This will allow a user to enter command data, which is then sent to a Java serial communication file, which is passed along over a JTAG interface to the patient connector, which then wirelessly transmits any data to the pacemaker if the command is accepted by the patient connector, which generally it is. This will then be, any request will be logged to our database, and it will be sent to the results display for the user to see if a command was successful or not and what might have happened. Next, we will move on to a short demonstration of our GUI interface, as unfortunately, our serial communication isn't quite functional. So if we go into the new command, you will see that we are able to input all of the various information a user might need to test the functionality of both the patient connector and pacemaker. So within here, a user would just submit various uh, hex data. They can delete all of it. They can fill headers. Calculating this CRC actually would calculate the command out and put it in a very specified format that the patient connector is looking for. We can add it to a payload, we can save it. And so Medtronic is likely going to want to be able to test multiple commands all at once. So within this, we have added functionality for you to be able to open a CSV file that contains multiple commands. And then as you can see, you can select specific commands, you can send all, you can send the selected. And both of these send buttons will just allow a user to send these very specific commands to a patient connector, and if the patient connector accepts them, it will send along to the pacemaker. After that, we have our results database, which allows the user to actually see if they are connected to the database or not. And that is all that we have prepared for you. Thank you.